بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از رستم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ریکارڈ ان ادر شارٹ ویڈیو فار دا آرٹیکولیشن آف کانسونٹ ساؤنڈس دس ویڈیو از بینگ ریکارڈیڈ فار سکس سیمسٹر اسٹوڈنٹس اسٹڈینگ ایٹ گورنمنٹ ڈگری کالج اویلیا دیز ویڈیو ریکارڈنگس آر جسٹ بینگ ڈن ان دا بیک ڈراپ آف کرونا تھریٹ ناؤ Uh, if uh, someone uh, someone wants to listen to earlier videos so you can go to my channel rustam's way of learning english at youtube and uh, or you can subscribe this video and you will be automatically notified uh, in this uh, uh, consonant chart as you can see here uh, I, in my previous video i uh, talked about this consonant chart as we can see on the top uh, uh, horizontal line these are known as uh, places of uh, articulation now bilabials labiodental dental alveolar palatal alveolar and then we have palatal that is hot palate velar and glottal glottal mean glottis uh, this this only one sound now these are uh, manner of articulation uh, stop affricates fricative nasals and uh, lateral sound only one lateral sound side side release of the air and this is uh, approximate uh, these uh, three vowels which behave like uh, vowels but they are actually consonants so there are 24 consonant symbols or ips symbols and uh, now uh, how we are going to produce them as you can see here that uh, these two sounds the first one is uh, voiceless and this one is voiced so in each pair the first uh, phoneme is voiceless and the second is voiced so voicing is a feature of a uh, uh, voice box like when we uh, l- let me give you an example from this pair if we place our fingers uh, I- I- uh, I- uh, on the outer side of uh, uh, larynx that is uh, projected part of uh, larynx known as adam apple and if we press them hard and we try to produce this uh, uh, this sound Uh, please listen so we uh, hear a whisper and there is no uh, accompanying sound but when we press the projected part and pronounce the articulate this phoneme uh, this one now there is a buzzing sound so the, the, uh, it means the vocal cords are vibrating for this sound and they are not, not vibrating for this sound okay so th- these two uh, sorry these two uh, phonemes they are bilabial sounds it means that uh, ear is uh, stopped at lips let's say let me pronounce for you p ba p ba so what what happens we bring the uh, we bring the two lips together uh, stop the outgoing ear for a while and then suddenly release it so manner of articulation is known as stop so ear is stopped completely and then released let me take you to the pictures uh, here we have uh, this picture uh, let me take you to the actual picture yes so let me trace uh, uh, these two sounds yes now as you can see here uh, two lips are together and uh, this uh, soft palate or velum it is just uh, touching on the back of the uh, this uh, mouth so that air cannot go to nasal cavity so air has been stopped here so from lungs air travels upward and it reaches here and both the lips are brought together and uh, uh, air pressure is built up behind these two lips so uh, then suddenly it is released so such type of articulation is known as stop or fricative uh, sorry uh, f, uh, uh, plosive so plosive or stop uh, for these two sounds p and b p and b so they are bilabial uh, consonants bilabial mean two lips come together uh, that by by labials by labials mean two lips together okay and uh, now let's go to some other sound let me uh, st- okay now these two sounds uh, the, 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 they are also stops it means the air is 
stopped but not at the lips this time here is stopped at the uh, this place uh, known as alveolar ridge alveolar ridge so students who uh, have some basic grounding in uh, these places they 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 can uh, easily understand what do i mean so alveolar ridge so this place is known as alveolar ridge so uh, tip of the tongue as we can see here tip of the tongue goes up to uh, alveolar ridge and uh, outgoing air air is coming from uh, lungs and uh, air is traveling upward into trachea it comes here and then uh, tip of the tongue uh, comes close to alveolar ridge and air is stopped completely stopped for a while uh, for a fraction of second and then suddenly release into the atmosphere so these two uh, uh, phonemes our consonants are articulated this way so they are called alveolar uh, alveolar sounds alveolar so one uh, way is alveolar how we describe uh, different consonants like le let me transcribe this consonant this is known as t it's a voiceless sound so t voiceless voiceless alveolar and uh, stop voiceless alveolar stop so if we want to describe this uh, uh, sorry describe uh, give a description of this we will say voiceless voiceless alveolar alveolar and stop so three uh, criteria are used first voicing feature then uh, uh, place of articulation and then manner of articulation so manner mean uh, what happens to outgoing air like air comes out uh, uh, air travels upward into trachea a windpipe and comes here and then it is uh, provided a uh, an obstruction but this obstruction is provided to this outgoing air at alveolar ridge so the name has been given alveolar okay and let me let uh, please listen to me how do we pronounce them the the okay now another uh, uh uh stop sound is this one just uh, let me magnify the screen for you so here is uh, another pair and this is also a uh, uh, stop like k g we pronounce this one as k and this one as let me describe it for you okay uh, see this one so this is pronounced as g okay now see this one uh, just a minute there is something uh, with the screen okay now again see uh, we uh, this one this one it is pronounced as g g k g k g and the first one is uh, being pronounced uh, with a whisper a sound which is pronounced with a puff of air is known as uh, aspirated sound or aspirated consonant anyhow back of the tongue goes up to soft palate as you can see here or uh, velum so outgoing air air that is coming upward here it is stopped here and then suddenly it is released so the stoppage occurs at uh, this place so we can say uh, it's a velar sound k and g they are velar sounds k and g they both are velar sounds so if we want to describe these two sounds so how we are going to describe them i am not talking about uh, transcription i am talking about description how to describe them so uh, we uh, let me uh, first describe this sound uh, this ka ka sound we, i'll say it's a voiceless velar uh, stop voiceless velar stop like this velar stop voiceless velar stop voiceless so three criteria have to be mentioned voiceless velar stop and the 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 second part uh, member of the pair that is g so it 
only uh, difference is uh, it is voiced so there are three uh, there are six sounds let me take back uh, uh, take you to the previous chart there are six uh, uh, consonants as you can see here uh, this pair this one and this one they are known as stops english stops consonant they are consonants they are consonant phonemes and they are known as stops stop mean uh, uh, manner of articulation and this pair is uh, known as bilabial sounds this is known as alveolar sounds and this is known as velar sound as i shown these in the uh, in the pictures that ear is stopped at two lips so tip of the tongue touches uh, alveolar ridge and uh, back of the tongue touches soft palate or velum so i uh, hope uh, you are now clear about these uh, six sounds how we talk about these six sounds now uh, let's talk about uh, a very important uh, uh, manner of articulation known as friction fricative there are uh, there are uh, uh, this pair is a fricative pair this one this one this one so there are eight phonemes and then we also have uh, uh, this uh, ha glottal uh, glottal sound this one glo uh, glottal uh, here is the glottal sound okay so let's uh, go to pictures uh, before i move to the pictures let me give you what happens so air outgoing air uh, uh, let me again uh, give you some introduction that air uh, comes uh, upward upward from uh, both the lungs it is pushed out it travels into windpipe moves upward then uh, passes uh, through the voice box and come into buccal cavity or mouth cavity now it is not completely stopped as it happens here so it is it is given a, a constriction const or restriction i mean the uh, air passage is a bit constricted narrowed down so there is an uh, audible friction like, like let me put, uh, articulate this pair like the first one is uh, voiceless and the second one is voiced so how we are going to pronounce this one what happens upper uh, teeth is placed at lower lip and and the outgoing air is constricted and the its pass passage is narrowed down so when we say v again upper teeth uh, comes at the lower lip but in the first uh, member uh, uh, we we uh, we don't produce any voicing at voice box or uh, larynx but as far as this is concerned we have to you know give voicing that is vocal cords vibrate inside the voice box now let me uh, pronounce these two uh, uh, sounds uh, this one uh, as uh, we don't have any equivalent in urdu so it is very difficult for us to pronounce uh, the native speakers uh, they uh, they bring uh, the tip of the tongue between the two teeth uh, which is the actual articulation or pronunciation but we can't do it uh, so Uh, what happens uh, we we say like this th the th the th the okay practically they are not pronounced this way uh, actually they are pronounced like this th 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 uh what happens we uh, place the tip of the tongue behind the uh, upper teeth okay and uh, now let let me take you to this pair s z z z z what happens not the tip this time but the blade of the tongue uh, moves upward towards alveola alveolar ridge and uh, ear is constricted and let me take you to the pictures so that it is easy for us to understand uh, this one okay now see this picture uh, as you can see here uh, this this picture so when we produce s or z 
so air uh, is uh, tip of the tongue is uh, we can say blade of the tongue is quite close to this uh, alveolar ridge but it is not touching it there is a path as you can see there is a brief uh, there is a uh, very uh, brief uh, pa uh, passage so it means the air is not being completely stopped rather it is uh, narrowed down path has been narrowed down so there will be audible friction so this this pure is known as fricative manner of articulation is fricative friction and however this friction is provided at alveolar ridge so another uh, identification is alveolar sound these are called alveolar consonants alveolar phonemes and uh, also uh, they are known as fricative phonemes or fricative consonants the first one is uh, voiceless s is voiceless s this is not s we pronounce it s is a letter when we say s it is an english letter alphabet letter of alphabet when we say s it is now sound okay s is written like this but the sound is written like this there are two slashes so this is a letter of alphabet letter of alphabet this is printing symbol but as far as sound is concerned it is between two slanting lines and it is known as it is not pronounced as s this is not pronounced uh, 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 pronounced as s rather it is pronounced uh, as s, s and this is s same way uh, this uh, this is letter z we say z but when we uh, take it as a sound let's say like this we put two slashes now it becomes z Zzz. okay in the next video uh, please consider it uh, as the first part of uh, this video now i'm going to record the second part and uh, i will upload uh, uh, the second part uh, to youtube channel so uh, you are requested to uh, press the subscribe button and also the i uh, uh, icon bell icon uh, button so that uh, any uh, the second part whenever i upload it you are notified for it thank you very much for watching this video stay tuned for the next part soon